from Ireland, from Greece, from Great Britain, France, Poland, and Switzerland. So on the far side, it's the Irish crew, Aoife Casey and Margaret Kremen, coached by Dominic Casey, Aoife's dad. A shout out to Eleanor, Aoife Casey's mum, who's recovering from illness at home. Aoife Casey in the bow seat, Margaret Kremen in the stroke seat. From Skibreen Rowing Club, Aoife Casey... The flying Greeks, Dimitri Kontu and Zoe Fitsu. Zoe Fitsu closest to us, just crossing herself there. And uh, we finished second in Pierre de Luca, one of the early season regattas. Well, here's the favourites, the world champions, Imogen Grant. We had a lovely chat with yesterday at the start. And just looking round, Emily Craig. More about them down the course. The Olympic silver medalist from France, Laura Tarantola in the bow seat and Claire Beauvais in the stroke seat. And in lane five, this Polish double has found a bit of speed. Martina Radosz up in the bows and Katzina Velna in the stroke seat with her cap characteristically set back. And here's the Swiss double outside of the system. Patricia Mertz and Frédéric Oll. They won in Zagreb. They won the right to represent Switzerland at the European Championships. Coached by Paolo Grisetti. And uh, formerly coached by Robin Dow, the late Robin Dow, who sadly is not with us. But they say he rides with us in our boat. You could see the just gentle sort of ripple on the water as the crews were just trying to hold the boats in position there. And uh, seeing them getting away all fairly cleanly, slightly more ponderous from the British up there in lane three. They're pretty well with the rest of the field. Yeah, I wonder what that was about, actually. The British slow off the start. We ride with Zoe Fitsu from uh, Greece. 27 years of age. She was in the lightweight singles last year's World Championships. Got herself in the Olympic category boat ahead of us, Anastasiadou. And it's the Greeks who lead out, Britain coming back into the race. It's a good start here as well from this Polish crew who've got themselves away pretty nicely. You can see how they're just quite loose and able to just kind of ride with the gentle movement within the boat. Uh, but maybe not so surprisingly, the British third from the left look like they're now just more or less pushing the bow up level with Polish they've moved through that Greek crew that we said did get away pretty nicely yeah so Poland just about in the lead well I say that and now the British seem to take the lead after that uh, uncharacteristically slow start Poland now in second place it is the French pushing their way up towards the poles they'll want to track the British but how much will the British be racing the Olympic silver medalists? This British double, of course, agonisingly finished fourth in one of the closest races at the Olympics. The French took silver medal in that Tokyo race. How much will they be focused on the French, do you think? I can't help thinking they'll be focused on themselves. Um, just stay within their boat. The British were so dominant in this last year. Um, and we're just able to be focused on what they're doing and I, I'm sure they'll now want to have a good second 500 as you said if anything perhaps they were just a little bit careful off the start maybe more than slow but careful off the start to just get into the race and you would expect them now to really we're up in our pace we're in the center of the race to look to try to keep moving every stroke right now away from the rest of the field yeah and uh, the British have moved through quite quickly in that first 500, only a second off world's best time pace after that slow start. And they're putting distance between themselves and the field. The Greeks look really good over there on the far side. Dimitri Kontu and Zoe Fitsu. There are the French Olympic silver medalists. A lot of pressure on these women. I know they kind of, you know, they seem to have a quite a good year after the Olympics being celebrities back in France. I feel their heads are now focused back in training for Paris 2024. So this is a really important race for them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for all the French athletes, they're going to need to stay focused in the right areas, focused on the right things as we build up towards those Paris Olympics and Paralympics. As we have a look at this Greek double, they had a very good skull yesterday in the repechage. 
They're staying with the pace here pretty well. Um, keeping that little overlap with the British. So I think they'd be pleased about that right now. The thing is, I mean, Dimitri Kontu is only 17 years of age. That's incredible, in isn't boat. it? It's just sensational. You know, in terms of you, you, you've got the two British women who are 30 and 27, but to be 17 in an Olympic class category in second place through the 1,000 metres. Yeah, and the Greek boat made the final last year, but we've been a long way behind the British. Now here they are coming through halfway. It's just about hanging on to an overlap. And again, interesting to see whether Imogen Grant and Emily Craig here can move on the rest of the field now in the third quarter. Four seconds off world best time pace through the 1,000 metres. That won't worry the British, who look to be sculling really well. Imogen Grant just finishing her medical studies up in Cambridge. And Emily Craig, Emily Craig had a fantastic trial. She's in the, on the right of your picture. She won the time trial. I think she won the semi-final. And then Imogen Grant just beat her in the final. As she finished third, I think Emily finished fourth in the open weight category amongst all those open weight British scholars. That's how fast these two women are. Yeah, well, they're a, they're a good double within that British system, aren't they? And like you say, they can train with the heavyweights. They can mix it up with them. They'll be highly competitive, and that probably helps them when they then come and race here in their own lightweight category. At the moment, it's not quite such a dominant performance as we saw last year. These, these crews, the Greeks and the French, just hanging on. They're probably helping them that they're in such a tight race with each other. Um, fast conditions we've got in this big tailwind. Often the, uh, the fields stay that little bit closer. Yeah. British out in front. Stroke by Imogen Grant. She's such a rowing geek, isn't she, Imogen Grant? She knows everybody's background. She would make a fantastic rowing commentator if and when she retires. And uh, there she is, stroking this boat out in front. These lightweight women have had to weigh in at an average of just 57 kilos, 126 pounds, two hours before this race. And look at the water that they're sculling through now. That You can see it's really quite bumpy in that lightweight double. They're having to have good boat skills to cope with those conditions. And uh, anything could still happen here. But um, seeing them sculling along, Emily Craig, she's used to sculling on the Tideway in London, where she trained certainly all of the winter last year with Morris Hayes, able to deal with difficult conditions, able to ride over the top of the waves. And they're handling this pretty well still, still moving pretty well together. And I think Imogen Grant, was she a Winfield Skulls winner as well? Uh, raced over the boat race course on the Tideway? I think she has won that event. Gritting her teeth now as we come into the last 500. Got a clear water lead. Yes, she did. She had a fantastic Wingfields where it was a difficult and tough race, but she was able to cope with everything that the river could throw at her, just as she was able to help cope with most things coming at her. And they're going to do it again today. But I think for me, it's about this one for the silver, the Greeks here and the French. She's got a fantastic feel for the boat. Dimitri Contu talking to Giovanni Postiglione, the Italian coach who is head of Greek rowing. There are the French Olympic silver medalists. Just look a little bit tight in that sprint for the line. The Greeks look a little bit more vibrant and loose as we're coming up to the last 150 metres of this race. Great shout, Martin. The Greeks are looking very vibrant and loose. 40 strokes a minute. It's pretty close between them, but I think they're just going to get a little bit ahead of that French crew coming down to the line. So it's gold for Great Britain. Craig and Grant are European champions. It is wow. the Greeks who take a silver medal ahead of the French Olympic silver medalists. The Poles miss out in fourth place. Ireland's world bronze medalist coming in fifth. Imogen Grant raises a hand in sixth place. That's Mertz and Roll. You heard the buzzer from Switzerland. Imogen Grant had to work during that race. She's generally not one to lie back in the boat. Yeah, big fast finish from the Polish as well. Yeah, coming right back into really. that after starting so fast, and we didn't talk about it much. They were just on the edge of it, uh, but they forced their way right, right back in. So this talent, Dimitra Kontu in the bows, the 17-year-old Zoe Fitsu in the stroke seat. And there are the French. Good medal for them but definitely their sights will be set on a gold medal in Paris after they got silver in Tokyo, um, and work to do. Yeah, absolutely. Confirmation there of the three medals for Great Britain, 
Greece and France. Poland finishing strongly, not quite getting in. And Ireland and Switzerland back there too. You took me back to that Wingfields race, Martin, which I was actually following. Side-by-side, uh, mm. uh, -side, sc single sculling race on the Tideway in London, which was, yeah, quite an eventful race where Imogen Grant needed to use all of her skills um, to navigate difficult water. And it's, I guess, all that tough winter work that you get the payoff from in big races like this. Put together a win in their first international competition of the 2023 season. Emily Craig on the left from the University of London Boat Club. So she's inspired by Beyonce. And uh, that was Imogen Grant getting the medal first. Imogen Grant from Cambridge University Boat Club. Emily Craig, the older of the two athletes. Just done a really good sub seven. British women singing their national anthem and we will shortly leave the lightweight women's double skull to go up to the start for the last final of today the men's eight